Hello the beautiful soul and welcome to the special new moon gathering. I'm so excited you're here joining with me and everyone else that is that's watching as well. Because today is truly an exciting day. We have the new moon and we have the one one energy because the new moon falls on January the 11th. So we have a powerful energy period right now. And I'm so excited that you have come to join us here in this gathering so we can celebrate this new moon and one 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 energy together. So the way this is going to go is I want to give you a quick recap real quick of the key things to know about the new moon. But then I definitely want to invite you to check out the new moon forecast where I go into details more about it. But I just want in case you haven't watched it, I just want to give you a quick re recap. But then I also want to share with you a powerful light language activation to assist you because the new moon today the new moon and the 111 energy is all about new beginnings. So with this light language activation, I want to assist you with really aligning yourself and opening yourself up to this energy of new beginnings because the 111 is actually amplifying the new moon energy. The new and the new moon theme is all about new beginnings and it's being amplified by falling on January the 11th which which is the 111 energy. And at the end after the activation I also want to draw a card for you from the oracle card deck the power of surrendering. So to see what can we surrender now with this new moon. So I'm super excited to bring this to you. So let's just kind of do a quick recap of the key things to know about this new moon. So like I just shared with you, the new moon is all about new beginnings and it's being amplified by the 111 energy. So what you want to do now with this new moon is to really leave behind all the old, the stuff that is no longer serving you in order to open yourself up to the new, to the new beginnings, the new opportunities and all of those different things. You're also asking to or invited to dream bigger, to look at your vision for the future and allow yourself to even dream bigger than what you have allowed yourself to dream of, to really ask for more, to evolve on or to expand your vision for the future. And by the way, this activation will assist you with the releasing and the letting go and really opening yourself up to that greater vision of yours. Because then after the new moon, there will then be an accelerated alignment that has taken place. So there's then until the end of the month, you will then feel somewhat of an acceleration that is happening, really helping you accelerate your path, your desires, and really taking those actions and moving forward. So this activation, this, this special gathering today is really going to assist you with all that. And I want to invite you, if you you haven't checked out the forecast yet the link is in the description below so you can check out the forecast and later after we're done here to get all the information about today's new moon so you can really make the most out of the energy but now let's move into the light language activation because my intention is to really assist you to open yourself up to these new beginnings so if you can please put both feet on the ground get grounded get centered just take a deep breath in and breathe in light and love and when you breathe out just drop into your heart and close your eyes open yourself up to receiving this beautiful activation as it is to your highest and greatest good and connect with that vision of yours and as I channel, as I then take you through this activation, I want to invite you to become aware of anything that may be holding you back, anything that you want to release and put your focus on that, put your attention on that with the intention of releasing it and letting it go, shedding the layers of all the stuff that has been holding you back and maybe hindering you from really stepping into your soul's higher timeline or highest path and really creating that vision that you have for your future, for your path moving forward. Now you may call up on your soul, your higher self, your team of guides, if you would like, as an art to call up on the highest, best, most loving, angelic guides, galactic guides, dragon guides that can best support us now in this gathering with this activation. Please surround us with your loving frequency, your loving light. Prepare us, open us up to receiving that what is to our highest and greatest good. And we ask for divine assistance and please releasing and letting go of what has been. Please cleanse and clear our four bodies, our emotional, physical, mental, and emotional body, as well as our energy field of any imprints, interferences, blockages, attachments, anything that is not to our highest and greatest good. Clear out the old and outdated and please help us close the chapter to what has been to 2023 and everything from before. 
and open us up to the newness, the new beginnings, the new opportunities, the new possibilities that are now available to us. And please open us up to a whole new, more abundant, more prosperous and fulfilling chapter for our life. And please download within us higher frequency codexes to uplift our mind, our body, our emotions and our frequency so we can be a vibrational match to the new beginnings and our soul's higher path and higher timeline for this lifetime. And please activate within us the frequency of new beginnings that are now available to us with this new moon and 111 energy. And please release any fears, any doubts or any worries that we may have and uplift our mind and our thought patterns to happily and eagerly open ourselves up to the newness to enter our life. And please align us to the frequency of this year so we easily adapt to the divine feminine flow. And please also open us up to dreaming bigger and more expansive without holding back. And so it is. Kustarach naralehenna arai iwai nar astere elwach Nest ar a i, nest ar astere el a, na al elua aleha nehe, kustera nara alera, lur achtere ek ustere e. Na ar alera, la ar ale el wakate in na, nur ast e, u ar a in ar alara le ur ala, nere kuka aik unakate in na, nuku ura nara ala are wahai ukna, ne aki ukuda ekuste, na eku unaki ekur al a, nar irwa ar irwa ar irwa a, nara al irwa ar ir ar irwa a, na kai. Ewa aste, luk aik un ar astere el ur achtere e a nere el ur u. We wish to invite you to open yourself up to uncovering what is old, what is outdated, what is no longer serving you, what no longer fits, what do you would like to let go of, release, sever the energetic ties to it. This could be people things, situations, circumstances, a way of being, it could be goals, desires, anything and everything that you have believed upon. This could also be habits, beliefs, the way of showing up. Allow yourself to become honest with yourself and become aware what requires your attention, what requires to be let go of, released. Put your attention onto that and then choose for yourself to hand it over. Allow us to assist you in the releasing, the letting go and dissolving it into the nothingness where it came from. Open yourself up and release and let go. Sereta urahal iwahara at est uruk arai una nala al irwaa. Ust ere nakta ahek ur ast ere elahra achter elwacht eroa. Nast erwacht er elwaa. Nar astur ur al ara in ur aster e. Nar aster elwaa e ua e ua in at er ahi. Tust ere el ar ahin ar ahin ar aha. Nastere elwaa. Nastere elwaa ter elwaa at enakte e. Nust ere en arahat elwaa. Nar aster elaa. Nere elwaa. Achen, 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 ake uate, nast er uaha, nast er ua achtere en atera, nastere el ar a iwa, ewa, ewa, e una ast ere, tur ur achte e, nast er uahan, ewa an e ura, lar astere el ar a hi ut ara, et ur astera achin ur aeta. Feel yourself becoming lighter and lighter. As you're releasing the layers, as you're releasing the things that are no longer to your highest and greatest good, feel yourself becoming lighter the more you open yourself up throughout this release. And it is okay to release and let go. That only makes room for newness to enter. If there's anything you wish to manifest at this time, you must first release what is taking up space within your mind, within your emotions, within your energetic field. 
even within your surroundings that is blocking you from receiving that what you wish to manifest. So allow yourself to release it and let it go because this will open you up. This will free you from the space it took up to open yourself up to that newness. Now that you are more free to receive the goodness, the newness that is now ready to come into your life. We wish to download within your frequency, within your field, within your consciousness, within your heart, higher frequency codexes that will align you to your higher timeline, that will align you to that vision that you have for your life, for your future, that also opens you up to new possibilities, to dreaming bigger, to envision greater, to be open, receptive and ready to align yourself to that more evolved and more expansive way of going about life, of manifesting the things you would like. If you're ready to receive this download, simply send a mental yes and then open yourself up to receiving this download as it is to your highest and greatest good, as it will see you uplift, raise in frequency, raise in consciousness. Also align yourself vibrationally to the newness. Nara alare wa ev, nukurach nara al era aera, re era ara 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 er wakatera aler, lar iwaki inu, nara alla ara hane etuaki wan el a, nar ar al erwa at erwa a, nara al erwa ae kuura an a etura achtere e, lara alera, lara alla al erwa a erwa a ewa a e. Now we also wish to download within your consciousness the codex of abundance, of prosperity, of ease, of flow, of joy and of pleasure. Open yourself up to receiving this energetic upgrade so you can more easily align yourself to manifesting with more ease, to experience, to be open to receiving and experience prosperity, abundance in all areas of your life and to allow it to come about with more ease and in alignment. So you can also open yourself up to focus more on joy and pleasure rather than on hard work and trying to make things happen. Open yourself up to receive that energetic upgrade, this download of these higher frequencies to elevate your consciousness to the consciousness of abundance, of prosperity, of ease, of flow, of joy and, and, and pleasure. Kira ara arahan arahat irwakne ku alke de aiku unakte in wakte in nakte ela ruakte in nuku urakta rakte wakte in nakta aku nakte wa nakte esta reta ara alahate ruakte in nakte kutu unukta aikta ikutu unakte in nakta takte ku unakta aikutu ukata anakte ekutu unakta arke tu kutu unakta anakte en kutu utukuta anakta nukta anakte kete el kutu anakte et kutu unakte el kutu unakte en kutu this transmission, this download is not complete. You may close your senses again as we now activate these codexes within you to rewrite your DNA so you embody that what we have given to you just now embodying the frequency of abundance, of prosperity, of ease, of flow, of joy and, and, and pleasure. You may feel a quickening within your cells, within your DNA happening at this time as you're being rewired, so to speak 
activated to this download. Now open yourself up to receiving a vision of your path moving forward, seeing doors opening one after another. These doors are the opportunities, the new ways, the new chapters, the new way of going about life, the people that will then come into your life. Open yourself up, seeing that vision. Choose which door you wish to walk through. And here, just know, if you choose one door, that does not mean that the other doors then close. No, moving forward, there will be many doors that will open for you and they will stay open that if you're realizing that, oh, this one door I didn't really like, you can readjust and, and go into a different door, go a different path. This is about being joyful, being excited about your path, tapping into energy of divine feminine, of ease, of flow, of that childlike essence, being curious about life, about what is to come, what is available to you. No longer being so serious about life, but to be excited, to tap into that energy of joy and pleasure. Open yourself up to receiving that vision right now. Maybe even seeing glimpses of that higher path moving forward for you right now. As we activate you to your higher path right now, right here, Open yourself up to the insights, the guidance, the vision for your path moving forward. You may feel a sense of mystery, the magical, magical essence. And this is about your path moving forward. There's magic in the air. There's mysticism in the air. Be open to not knowing every single step, every single thing that you must do or need to do or how to go about it. But tap into the energy of being in the moment, being in soul alignment and following the guidance, the nudges that you receive. As we shared with you, many doors will open for you and you will try out different things to see what do you like, what don't you like. But do this from a mysterious, childlike, excited, curious kind of view, point of view. If one thing doesn't work out, perfectly fine. That simply just gives you feedback of, ah, this is not yours. Then go a different route. But always check in with your soul. Allow your soul to guide you, to nudge you. But in even the things that may not be what you would like, they too were soul inspired, soul guided steps that you took because soul desired to learn something from that experience, to take something from that experience. So even though it wasn't what you wanted, you still got something valuable from that. Hold on to that, hold on to that valuable experience as you then realign yourself to what your soul wants instead. Every experience you have in life holds a message, a lesson, and a gift. It gives you an experience. It teaches you something. It helps your soul to grow. 
even if it is just a tiny piece. And everything else may not even make sense, but there's always one tiny piece, and sometimes bigger pieces, to that bigger puzzle. That why you were guided to follow that path or to step through that open door was what your soul desired to do. And there was a greater purpose for that. Always remember that. Nothing ever happens just for the sake of it. There's always a greater, a higher purpose behind everything. Whether it's you're meant to learn something, or you're meant to experience something, or that one thing will then actually be the stepping stone that will then lead you to the right door, the right opportunity, the next thing that is to your highest and greatest good. And if you wouldn't have taken that one misstep, so to speak, you would not be ready to then step into what you're truly meant to be doing, what you're truly meant to be experiencing or desiring to be experienced. Open yourself up to that. Go about life with that mysterious mysticism approach to it. Always following your soul's guidance. Many doors will open for you, and they're all to your highest and greatest good, whether you are aware of it in the moment or not, but they all serve a greater purpose. Now embody that what we have just given to you. Embody it, anchor it in. This transmission, this activation is now complete. Go about your day now, go about your path, following your soul's guidance following your soul's highest timeline. Blessed be, beloved. Blessed be. Now you may take a deep breath in. Breathe in light and love and let it all settle for a moment. Let it all settle. And when you're ready, you may open up your eyes again and come back into the here and now. Now you may take some time to let it settle and to really let it just anchor in and open yourself up to that greater vision. And for today, I want to invite you actually to take some time out to contemplate. Contemplate about what are the new beginnings you would like to call forth? What is your greater vision for this year and then moving forward? Journal about that. Really get some clarity around it. And even if you say, well, I've already done that. I truly believe that now with this new moon energy, this 111 frequency, and then also now that you have been part of this, this gathering, I really want to invite you to revisit your vision for the year and moving forward. And see, does it still feel in alignment? Does it still resonate with you, with everything that you have written down? And if there's anything that you've written down, that doesn't quite fit anymore, that feels a little off, this too is an invitation then for you to readjust. And here you can ask yourself, okay, is this not what I want anymore? Or do I still want that, but in a more evolved, expansive way, or maybe a different way? And then adjust your vision for the year moving forward. Right now, you're really at a potent time for those new beginnings. So you want to really connect with a vision that is in absolute alignment with yourself, your soul, and your soul's higher path and higher timeline. So by you revisiting your vision, and if you haven't written your vision down, I highly recommend use today's energy of this whole new beginnings to get clear. Because remember, I mentioned that there's going to be an accelerated period that is that we're about to move into. An acceleration is happening after the new moon. So be clear on what is it that you want to manifest. What is that vision you want to create for yourself? And then allow yourself to really connect with it energetically. And feel free to leave a comment below and let us know. What is your vision for 2024? What are the new beginnings you would like to call forth? We would love to know. I would love to know. So leave a comment below. Because that also makes a statement to the universe that, look, this is what I want. I'm putting my claim on it. Because that's another thing I want to invite you to do is 
not just writing out your vision and your intentions and your goals or whatnot, but actually putting your claim to it. Like, put your finger on it. This is what I want. This is it. This or something better. You want to put your claim on it because oftentimes when you're just writing the things down, writing down your intentions, writing down your desires, your goals, your visions, whatever that you want, and you're not actually putting your claim to it, it's like, okay, the vision is there, but no one has claimed it yet. So whoever then claims your vision will then get it. So put your claim on like, this is it. I claim this. Really set that intention like internally, like this is it. I don't care what's going to happen, but this is my vision. This is what I want. This is what I want to create, Want what I want to experience. Use this time with the new moon to really put your claim on your desires. And then maybe even dream a little bigger. Like I said, that is also an invitation here with this new moon is to dream bigger. Take this time out to dream bigger. So now the final piece here of this gathering, I want to draw a card from the power of surrender cards to see what are we meant to surrender with this new moon energy. So let's just tune in and let's just focus on what do we need to surrender? What do we need to surrender to this new moon energy? So we can really be in full alignment and open ourselves up to these new beginnings. Let's see, there's a card. Okay. Okay, this is beautiful. And this is, I think, absolutely fitting. The card that I pulled was surrender negative thinking. I mean, how fitting is that? So here, basically surrender any doubts, any worries, any fears, any limited thinking that is really not serving you, especially as it, as it relates to your visions, your dreams, your the things that you want to call forth. Like I said, right now, is the perfect time to let go of anything that's not serving you. So as you're writing about your vision, as you're writing about your dreams, your desires, and maybe even dreaming bigger, pay attention to what are the thoughts that you have about it. Do you think that, well, this is too big. I can't do this. I'm not good enough. I mean, who am I, you know, and it's going to be too hard. I don't really know how to, whatever it is surrender any negative thinking. You may actually write down all the thoughts that you have about that, all the beliefs that you have about uh, whatever you want to manifest that is really not serving you. Really do a brain dump. Brain dump all the negative thoughts that you have, the limiting beliefs, the fears and doubts, the worries, all of that. Brain dump. Write it all down. And then make the conscious choice to say, I'm done with this. I'm done with thinking negatively. I'm done with thinking in limitation. You're at a turning point right now. There's a new beginning. So let go of the doubts, the fears, the limited thinking, the negative thinking, and open yourself up to something new. So when you're when you're writing down all the limiting thoughts that you have, next to it, what you can do is write the positive. If you think that you're not good enough to do what you feel called to do, or if you don't feel deserving to have what you want, next to it, write, I am good enough. I am deserving. I am worthy. I can do this. There's always a solution. There's always a resource that I can tap into. Allow yourself to make the most out of this new one by surrendering negative thinking. That's what you can surrender. That's what you can let go of to free yourself, to open yourself up to the new beginnings. So let me read to you what is on the card here. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say, thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. How beautiful is that? So basically you're acknowledging your thoughts because you don't want to ignore that, right? You don't want to ignore that you are having fears and doubts and all that because there's a valuable reason for that. Oftentimes it's your ego afraid of the unknown, right? The scary, or maybe there's some deeper things happening. Maybe you have had some bad experience and now you're kind of scarred from that. So maybe then here you can do some healing around that, but acknowledge your thoughts and then say, but I choose to think something different. I choose to believe something different because I have a choice to feel positive, to believe positive things. And see, that's one thing that I recently discovered as well, especially with 2023. It was, it was a hard year for me. And I often felt very low. I felt very energetically drained. I mean, I was going through a lot of psychic attacks last year. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, it was like almost on a daily basis. I had to fight off some kind of negative attacks. It was bad. 
And it was like one day I really sat there and I'm like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with feeling low. I'm done with feeling upset. Last year, it really felt like I came out of a, a 10 year abusive relationship, right? So I mean, that's how, how beaten I had felt by life last year. But then it was like one day, I'm like, you know what? I have a choice. I don't have to feel that way. I don't have to constantly think about all these bad things that happened this year. I can choose to feel happy because it is a choice. And it's the same thing with your thoughts. You can choose to let go of those negative thoughts. You can choose to elevate your thoughts. And that's beautiful right now with this new moon. And I really want to invite you, take some time out to really get clear on, like I said, about your vision about really dreaming bigger, but then also become aware of what are those limiting things that you're, that you keep having on your mind, that you keep thinking about, that you're, you know, keep repeating and allow yourself to surrender that. Surrender those negative thinking to a higher way. Acknowledge it, but then say, thank you, but no more. And focus on the positive. That is what is at offer for you right now with this new moon. So I really hope you enjoyed this activation, the guidance that are just offered to you. Now, be sure to check out also the forecast for the new moon so you can get all the details about how to really make the most out of today's new moon and the one one energy. And I'm so grateful that you were here joining me for this gathering. Now, there will be another one on the full moon at the end of towards the end of the month. I hope you're going to join me as well. And I'm so grateful that you're here. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video or the next gathering. I hope you have a wonderful new moon, a beautiful day, and I will see you in the next video. Namaste.